Hi, good day, and um, it's me beyond the game again, and I'm back with another um, week of the pro franchise. Um, so today we're up against the Raiders and Riddler. Um, last time out it was a bit of a wet or rip day against the Raiders. They would come away with, I think he had three picks in the game. That was my debut in the pro. So um, but let's hope we can match it today. However, I've got this. <laughs> well, I already know the result. But, um, it, it is a close one. Um, I mean. I was looking, going to be looking to establish a run today, to be honest, don't really know how much luck I'm going to have, haven't had much luck lately with the run, people are starting to shut it down a lot better, um, but I think possibly look at airing it out, I think we have the better receivers, however we have had a few injuries, Alexander's out, and um, still no gates, but Ladarius Green has become one of the instant kind of starters now, and it's, I'm looking forward to getting gates and Green back. Um, so to start things off, you know, we'll probably try to pound the rock maybe and see what we can do. I think it's gonna be key to get stops in this um, offense as well. So he's got he's got some fast receivers which is the thing that probably scares me the most about this Raiders team. Um but yeah, I mean I've been enjoying my time in the pro franchise so far. It's been um, good fun. Um would have liked a few more wins but um I, I think I'm coming to probably be more of the calm down part of the schedule now. So possibly make a push to the playoffs I hope but we never know. Um, so anyway, here we go. Um, just trying to start it off, try and get a drive here, see if we can get some points for the board. And Malcolm Floyd, he, like I think I should have started him a long time ago, and um, since he's come back into the fold, really, he's um, been immense. And he, you know, the other week I spoke about deep passes. And I started hitting him, and um, there's um, Eddie Royal for that big one. He broke the coverage and got the screen. And um, while there's Weddle, I'm coming back and making the point. And if that great run by Rude, I think it was a fair play. It was a really nice run. Now, this time we get the stop on um, Fadden. So just try and clog it down. And now, crossing routes. Really nice pick in the crossing route. Bit of motion as well. Another crossing route coming across the other side this time. So he's just making me pick and choose really who I want to cover, and he's um, going to the opposite. It's a really good um, strategy to open things up. And he's able to, a bit of a weird throw there from him, and um, yet again, crossing routes. And it's um, it's really carving up his um, defense and playing. I'm playing a lot of zone, and I make the wrong decision there. It was a really nice pass. He saw me move away with Weddle, and. Um, Another crossing route, you know, crossing route is so effective, not just in Madden, but in the NFL, and because I'm committed to the crossing route, he hits me with corner route, and um, it's a wonderful pass. So yet again, we just um, try and run it down the gut a little bit, and able to get the Z spot play here. I'm just trying to open it up a little bit, I think, um, it's become a little bit of the check down play in those situations. Sometimes, you know, it's a bit of a soft spot in the zone, the Z spot. And yet again, um, try not to throw so many corner outs anymore. Try and get people more so commit to a corner out possibly being there. See if we can get something else over across the way. It's something I spoke about with some, some other guys on the website, and I think it is a pretty effective strategy if you can get it working. And um, we get the stop there. We hit our own offensive line in the back of the head. Nice work, Phil. And um, that's exactly what I was scared about. I think that was great as being the speed on the outside. Really burn you. Uh, so here we go again. Um, got lucky that time, I reckon, because I was accidentally on Legit because um, the quick snap and um, was able to get a stop with him, luckily enough. And yet again, I'm just trying to um, see if I can get his coverage to drop a little bit short, more shallow, so I can get some open, more openings dip down um, bit further down the field. So I'm trying to check it down to open things up deep eventually later in the game. Um, now I guess he's probably trying to do the same thing as well with his um probably his crossing routes because we know if you try to test me deep once, so I've got to be aware of that. So yet again, just trying more different runs here and um, not having as much luck as I would like, but then I was lucky again through there, got the got the first down what I needed. And um, Ryan Matthews is a bit of a workhorse for me. He seems to um do it really well, and um, the screen doesn't pay off. Third and four, we need a big play. 
and straight up to Matthews, we get the first down. Um, great, great hit this was. Um, as I've said throughout my commentaries, red zone offense is something I've struggled with. But I get really sacked, and this beca that kind of becomes a bit of a <laughs> the incident throughout this game that you get sacked quite a bit, and um, I think these blitzes were really effective. And I get lucky there with the spec catch and animation. And, um, so we need to get a st if, if I could get him to just hold to a field goal, I think that's a little bit of a win after this um, play here to McFadden. Like I said, he's opening me up big time with those crossing routes. I need to figure out a way to stop it. Um, I mean, sometimes when you you know, he sails for a field goal there as he has no timeouts. Yes. <laughs> and the sack fumble. The sack fumble is what happens there. And um, I was absolutely relieved he didn't get returned. And yet again, we have another drag underneath. He's, um, he's, the thing is, though, he's putting the coverage above me, so I have to mix the deep pass. And um, he's throwing underneath the coverage, which is working for him. And, you know, I need to start um, thinking of ways to stop that. You know, I, I mean, straight away you could probably put a few more guys into flat zone coverages that you be giving, basically sacrificing deep coverage for. It. Is it worth it if he's just still going to hit you underneath? That time I had it covered and he went over the top. So he's making absolute some really great reads here. Um, but we'll adjust the defense accordingly eventually. And um, it doesn't seem like we're having much luck in getting burnt by Dickerson there. And um, yet again, this is when you, you can tell the difference between a good player and, and a great player sometimes. And um, you know, he's been burning me with the crossing routes. He went away with it thinking I was expecting one, I, I, I assume. And, um, and there we go. Deep pass as well. Another one. That was to open up the cover to the play action, I think. Uh, I, I can't really stress how much how important it is this year to. Um, Pass commit, you seem to get better coverage on these play action passes and much better blitzes as well. And um, that's what that's what Phil Rivers, deep accu the accuracy on Phil Rivers does for you. It's, it gets you um, a touchdown like that. Probably a bit lucky to get it, and um, the speed again burns me. I think, is that more out there? And um, again, a crossing route across the middle, unable to come out with it. We've got a so I've got to think of ways. I'm, I'm trying a few things. Probably, I'm probably thinking I'm too good and not too good. I'm thinking I'm, I'm overthinking it too much sometimes. And I, I think towards the end of this game, I'll start thinking of ways to stop a little bit better and start moving out where I think would work. And um, and there we go. That's what how you stop a slant with a, a simple cover too. I thought he was going to run to the outside, and I deserve to get picked there. And um, born by um, boy Ladarius Green, and he goes in for um, the first down. Um, cheeky screen play here. <laughs> now I get really lucky with um, Wood Danny Woodpecker getting the first down. I uh, get a few yards. Check down to Matthews. Nearly got whacked up. This is a really silly pass. There's the sound effect on the Um. Yeah, it just was not pretty at all. And um, we need to get a stop here. Um, nearly get the pick. Probably a little bit too far in front of the ball. So um, we need to force the punt. There we go, another crossing route and we stop it with the blitz. Coming through on the side. So um, here we go again. Let's try and get the point from the board. Another Bad pass again. It's just one of those passes where you, you feel comfortable enough in the route that you can do it. But there we go! That's what I'm talking about! Go, Matty! Oh, he was running to his girlfriend, I could tell in the end zone, but it wasn't going anywhere, was it? Much like his love life, I guess. Um, so now we really need to get something. And that blitz, corner blitz. And phew! Really get hit. That's my um. I, I did not see him there. It's an amazing play by the corner. So yet again, we need to get this stop. And he goes over the top of the coverage, and I get a shoelace tackle for the win. All right, and I 
And yet again, I've been working the run stop just trying to spread the line a little bit. And here, this is when I first started covering those um, crossing routes by um, shading the coverage inside. And um, I got the pick. Here we go. Now we really need a score here. Let's get things going. So I'm um, going to quick up the tempo a little bit now. Try to point Royal and come short. So and 9 really need a big pass here. On the Darius Green on an out route. Get a bit lucky, it's a 15 yard out route. And then just checking down to my boy Keenan Allen. Get the first down. Cox still working in my favour. Then it's Danny Woodpecker. Runs to the sideline. Oh, nearly there. Timeout called. Now let's keep going. Checking down to Matthews in the. On the, in the oh, perhaps he should have let him in there, but now we're in this. And let's get the touchdown. That gets the touchdown. We're up seven points now. It's a pretty um, <laughs> pretty epic drive that was. Now we really need a stop, and we get a big hit. But wait, it's not over. There's still plenty of time. Over two minutes, and he's got the two-minute warning, and he absolutely just busts out there with his uh, with Kreiner, who's been an amazing receiver throughout the game, and I cannot cover to save my life there. I get burned. We really need to get better coverage. Great pass through the scene. Now you know Weddle has been missing throughout this game for most of it. Where is Weddle? Where is Weddle? There he is! And um, Weddle gets the pick and um, that effectively finishes off the game. Um, I, I really think this is a great game to really watch. I think um, to play as well. I mean, it had me on the back foot for a lot of it. I think the play call from um, Rick here was really damn good. I think maybe he went back to the booth home where I think he, he made his reads really well. I probably got a bit lucky sometimes with um maybe he got a bit conservative when he got the pick the first time. Maybe he could have probably done a few more deep passes to open me up because I started covering the short. But nonetheless, we escaped with a win by next week. So you know what? I'm going to probably probably start practicing a little bit more and see if we can get something going. Um, Nancy Tio play of the game, but um you know what? That's that's all for today, and um, take care until next time. See you then. Ciao.